Did you know Jessica Vallant Pilates has an app? You can download this free app and browse all the content that we have, including a free 45 minute Pilates workout that you'll never find here on YouTube. If you like what you see, you can choose to join us and unlock all the amazing content we have, including workout calendars, new workouts every single month, recipes, podcasts, and more. Link is below. Today we are doing a workout for your thoracic spine. That's your mid back. I can tell you this is one of the most important parts of the body that I work on with my physical therapy and my Pilates clients. And I'm so excited to give this workout to you. So we're going to start laying on our backs. So we want to start by warming up and getting a little mobility through that area before we get into the rest of what we'll be working on. So we're going to start laying down. You're going to have your feet hip distance apart, arms at your sides. Take an inhale, exhale, curl your tailbone, roll yourself up. And you can just start nice and gentle here. Inhale when you get to the top, exhale. I want you to roll back down. We're going to do a few. Okay. And I'm going to kind of talk you through some different ideas here as we bridge. And as you warm up, just feel like maybe you can lift a little higher each time. So your thoracic spine runs from kind of the base of your neck down here, just above belly button area. You can imagine that that's your thoracic spine. It's actually pretty long. We consider it your mid back. It tends to be the stiffest part of the spine. It's attached to the ribs. That whole area helps protect your heart and your lungs, obviously really important, but it tends to get really stiff, especially with us hunching over computers and steering wheels all day long. So this workout is going to help open up that whole area, give you some mobility, some strength in the upper arms and the upper back, which can lead to so many positive things like helping your posture. I actually use this for pelvic floor issues. We use it for shoulder issues, for headaches, all of those kind of things. This can help. All right. Last one. I want you to roll up and stay there. You probably don't even notice much happening yet. That's okay. We're just warming up here. Stay here, reach your arms back. So the backs of your hands touch the ground and then curl and roll back down. So we're starting to really get some stretching in that thoracic spine. Arms come down, curl, roll yourself up. See if you can get your hips even with your knees here, reach your arms back, big stretch, and then really feel like those backbones come down like a strand of pearls, one landing at a time which can be hard. I know when there's stiffness. Okay. One more like that. Arms come down, curl and roll up. Inhale, reach them back and then exhale. Nice. Slide your hands behind your head on an exhale. Roll yourself up, tuck your chin. Okay. We're not going to be here too long, but what I want is just to start to get a little twist. So twist to your left, come to center, twist to your right. Try to keep your elbows wide. Okay. That's one of the keys here. And if you need to skip this part, that's completely fine. Really feel like you're trying to peel your shoulder blade off. Last one center and back down. Nice job. We're going to roll to our side and then push yourself up and we're going to come on to all fours. So we have our hands spread wide and our hands are underneath our shoulders. Knees are underneath your hips. And I want you to reach the right arm up. Okay. So stay here for a moment and look up at that hand. Then reach the hand forward, keeping your eyes on it, lift it back up and then reach it back and back up. Okay. So forward and up. I'm drawing this big rainbow or semicircle with that hand. And you hopefully can feel 
how it's really giving you some rotation in that middle spine. It's also working our arms. So that's key to this area of the body is working kind of into the lats, into the rhomboids, all of those muscles in the upper and middle back. Okay, reach the arm forward, stay here, pulse the arm up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it back down. Nice job. We're gonna do the other side. So let's lift the left arm up. So you can see me kind of from the back now, if that helps see how much rotation I'm trying to get. And then I'm gonna bring the left arm forward. Sweep it up and look back. And the reason I say keep your eyes on your hand is our body follows our gaze. Okay, so when you encourage your gaze to go to a specific spot or place or direction, you're actually encouraging the rest of your spine to follow it. One more. Nice, bring it forward. Your palm is facing down. Again, we're gonna pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it back down, nice job. Okay, we're gonna stay on all fours. You're gonna come down to your elbows. And I want you to kinda almost let yourself sink here. So you can let your abs release. There's no need to hold them in. We're letting everything kind of sink into the spine. Now, step your knees back a little farther. And I'm gonna talk you through this because this might be a little bit new. This is almost like a cat camel position, but on your elbows. So what you're gonna do is pull yourself forward. So you end up here. So I'm, my legs are down. I have my chest open and lifted. Then what I'm gonna do is tuck my toes. I'm gonna push back. I'm gonna reach and give a really big stretch. Okay, and then I'm gonna plant my elbows down, release my toes, and come back through. So I'm lifted and extended, and this is all mid-back here. Okay, so tuck your toes. That'll give you a little support as you come back. Reach, reach, reach. Maybe your elbows come up, big stretch and then elbows down and really pull on that mat to get yourself forward. So you're gonna do a couple more like that or here I'm gonna show you the next progression. Right here if you want, you're gonna tuck your toes, lift to a plank, lift up and back, then drop your knees and reach for a stretch. Okay, so we'll all just do two more, whatever version. So we're gonna come forward, and again, if you choose, this is where you tuck your toes, lift to a plank, you pause, lift your hips, drop your knees, straighten your arms, and pull forward. And now, we're all gonna stay here, all right? Right knee is gonna bend, you're gonna flex your foot. Flex, flex, point, reach. Flex, flex, point, Reach, it's called double leg stretch in our Pilates world. What it's really doing is encouraging this position in the upper back. Your arms might really be working right now. Mine are. That's what I want. Like that's a big component of this middle spine piece that tends to get lost. We can't just stretch over a foam roller and call it good. We need to really stretch and work it. Okay, last one. Nice job. Come down, take a break. <sighs> Separate your legs. Hands come under your shoulders. Press yourself up full, a full stretch. And then bend your knees. You can do a child's pose here if it feels good. And let's restack to come back up. All right, we're gonna sweep legs around in front. That was a great job. I know that's not an easy series, but I promise it's effective. Legs out, mat distance apart, hands behind your head. Sit up nice and tall. Inhale, rotate to one side, 
exhale center inhale other side exhale center so we're trying to sit up as tall as we can many of you know this is one of my favorite exercises of all time because of what it does to really give us rotation in that mid back give us lengthening in the hips okay this is a hard position if you're tight in your hips so don't sit there thinking, oh my gosh, this should feel easy. It's not, it is challenging. Sit up against a wall if you need to and just practice sitting tall before you add the rotation if that's better for you. One more each side. Nice job. Arms reach out in front, inhale. Exhale, dive forward. Slowly restack. Arms come down to your sides. And great job. I hope you feel a little looser and a little bit taller, and I'll see you soon. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please like, comment, and subscribe to be notified when I have new videos that come out. You can find more, including my exclusive unlimited community with full length workouts, a workout calendar, recipes, and more over at jessicavalantpilates.com. Join our unlimited program. I would love to see you there.